Hello everybody, this series of uh, video tutorials I want to review about the uh, Active Directory troubleshooting and related command line. Also, we want to investigate uh, inside the Active Directory components and their operation. As you know, the Active Directory is the heart of Windows Server services uh, when you want to manage and control them and also um, check them inside the unique infrastructure uh, consider Active Directory as the central uh, point of um, authentication in this part in this video, I want to um, review about the NTDS Util command line. NTDS Util uh, is one of the um, useful, uh, one of the major uh, CLI for troubleshooting some um, uh, important parts of Active Directory. Uh, okay, let's go inside the NTDS Util. As you can see, the first layer of um, NTDS util syntaxes. Uh, for example, we have um, IFM installed from media uh, creation procedure. Uh, IFM can be used for offline installation of additional domain controller. Um, consider situation and you have a uh, you want to create uh, another site uh, inside the Active Directory and uh, you didn't prepare its uh, network infrastructure um, and you want to prepare a baseline for uh, installation of the domain controller in another time and uh, yet there is no connectivity between them uh, IFM can be used in this situation and also the SRM uh, password directory service restore mode uh, it can be used when you want to uh, bring back a domain controller from a, a backup restoring operation and DSRM uh, must be used uh, when you run the domain controller in a safe mode. Uh, there is no um, Active Directory related services. They are not started because the domain controller faced with a critical failure. When you want to restore it, uh, in safe mode, it prompts for a password. Uh, it's not the domain administrator uh, credential. You must set the password there. Uh, as you know, uh, DSRM is um, must be set in the wizard of uh, Active Directory installation. Uh, and if you forgot it, you can run this uh, procedure set the SRM password based on each each domain controller uh, it's unique and you should know it's unique based on every dc you have in your domain environment another usage for ntds tool is the metadata cleanup when you want to uh, decommission a, fa a failed domain controller uh, when you lost it or you uninstall it uh, forcefully uh, without the Active Directory uh, in uninstallation wizard, uh, you should run the metadata cleanup to clean its uh, related data from the Active Directory database. And, and at last, for keeping the consistency between the domain controller's data, uh, it will be replicated, this change, this modification will be replicated to another DCs of uh, your domain.
But uh, let me explain about uh, one of the important usage for NTDSUCL. Um, consider a situation you lost one of your primary domain controller and um, also uh, keep some of uh, the FISMO role, flexible single master operation roles, and don't have any uh, GUI. All of the server are the um, are installed in server core types, installation types, and you need to uh, transfer the FISMO role from a failed DC to another healthy domain controller in your environment. So keep in mind um, we can use the NTDS util command line for uh, executing this procedure. When you run the local roles, uh, there are many options like the connection, like list roles. And when I run the local list roles, you can see available roles like the server operators and the users, administrators, and so on. When I run the connections, you should choose uh, connect to domain or server. Uh, I run the connect to server to server 9 and also connect to domain to mcsa31.local as you can see uh, you are connected to server 9 with the binding credential of administrator in the mcsa.31 domain so i run the net down query fismo and you can see the holder of each roles schema master domain naming master pd simulator id pool manager and also infrastructure master and another point should, um, that i must remind you uh, when you um, decide to change the active directory topology all the existing domain controller must be up and running and they should be aware of any uh, critical changes in the Active Directory infrastructure. Uh, each one of the inter queue means the quiet and uh, it will bring you back to the uh, before layer of syntax. As you can see, when I type the quiet, I will come inside the first layer and then decide to go to the um, roles and choose the connections. And you can see the connection binding. Mm. Uh, we have seize options and also the transfer option. You should keep in mind uh, when we want to uh, take an FISMO role from a DC and give it to another DC and both of them are healthy and are, they are online and uh, keeping the services and to the domain users um, we should choose the transfer because uh, it works only in uh, a safe situation in healthy situation but uh, when the holder of the FISMO role the source DC 
is not online or it failed um, because of many reasons like the uh, operation system failure and or another type of software or even hardware failures and you don't have access to that DC and should remove them manually from the domain database you must use the seize operations because it works in a forcefully mode and next important point is about the KCC knowledge consistency checker inside each domain controller when the domain controller want to create the replication links KCC uh, is the responsible for acting like that but uh, when there is an offline DC for even a long time duration a failure uh, between them there is a uh, too much time of uh, failed uh, replication request um, the case is it does not uh, decide to remove that replication link after passing of a specific days uh, never and never it, you should uh, do it manually so let's uh, check uh, What's going on inside the Active Directory domain? You have many options here. Uh, there's also list domains. Three domains exist inside that forest. And also there is two sites in this infrastructure. Um, site, uh, the default site and also HQ site. Then I run the list servers inside i want to select with respect of the physical uh, position of domain controller uh, first of all uh, you should select the site after listing them then uh, list the servers in the site or uh, choose to list the domains and select the specific domains too after that you can uh, choose any related listing uh, server syntax the server inside you can see there is 4 DC in that specific site and then I choose the server 0 you can see uh, that server know which DC hold the FISMO roles. This information and the information from the net down query FISMO must be same because uh, both of them are coming from the Active Directory database. Okay, I select to transfer the PDC it prompts for uh, safety are you sure to run this and you can see the PDC simulator are transferred um, but I decide to choose the C's infrastructure master and you saw uh, it will trans try to transfer it uh, before running exact the seize operation so Two FISMO roles are transferred to the server 9 and at last I run the transfer naming master as one of the two 
king uh, to Fismo roll in the first white level uh, and at last you can see all the Fismo roll are hold by the server 9 all of them are transferred and the server 9 is the main and the primary domain controller in your infrastructure um, I hope it can be useful for you all um, but keep in mind uh, this is a dangerous command line you must practice more and more to use it successfully uh, until the next part of Active Directory troubleshooting series see you around